Greg, have you got the contract offer from the Mets yet? No, I'm offended. It, I'm going to call It's probably Steve. in the mail, to be honest with you. Oh, I don't check the mail. Steve Cohen is being somewhat irresponsible with his money. Are um, we calling it irresponsible? I don't know. Call me. When you have that much, is it possible, possible to be irresponsible? <laughs> <laughs> name that artist, baseball family. Jump in the comments and name that artist. All right, go ahead. <laughs> so these are the guys the Mets have signed this offseason. Okay. Brandon Nimmo. Just free agents. Just free agents. Brandon Nimmo, eight years, 162 million. Edwin Diaz, five years, 102 million. Justin Verlander, two years, 86.6 million. Kodai Senga, five years, 75 million. Jose Quintana, two years, 26 million. Omar Narvaez, two years, 100, two years, 15 million. Sorry. Adam Ottavino, two years, 14 and a half million. David Robertson, who, by the way, is a national treasure. Thank you, Brig. Yeah, he is. One yeah. year, $10 million. And then pending, we have Carlos Correa, 12 years, $315 million. That's a big chunk of that. Yeah. They have committed, including Carlos Correa, $806.1 million just to free agents this offseason. Yep. That is so much money. I just, I'm glad I'm sitting down for that information. <laughs> Could you imagine having that much money? You could just be like, yeah, pay him to come in and play baseball for us. No. Nope. Nice. That is unfathomable amounts of money for me. Without fathom. Um, Without and then you see, and then you have fathom. Teams, <laughs> <laughs> and then you have teams on the other end of the spectrum. The Mariners have not spent any money this offseason. None. Shockingly, shockingly none. Well, so part of the problem is that there, an article actually came out like a day or two ago mm -hmm. that. John Stanton, the owner, has not granted any payroll flexibility going into this new year. What? Zero. Yeah. Despite a $100 million TV deal, he has said he's not going to spend that money on players. What? But Jerry yeah. DePoto's like the trade dude. Well, that's the thing is he's making, that's why is because he's making trades. That's why he's trading. It's because yeah. he doesn't have money to spend in free agency. And people are like, well, you can't force the players to come. It's like, well, no, but they're also not going to come if you're not willing to pay them what they're going to get somewhere else. You've got to right. pony up the cash. Yeah, man. And I wonder if part of it, I wonder if he's also a little bit gun shy on that after the Cano deal. Yeah. Which I get, I got a little bit of PTSD from that myself. Yeah, I'll too. Be honest. yeah you should. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but uh. no, it's, but that's why Jerry DePoto is making deals all over the place for the guys that he does. And speaking of which, I know we kind of went off the rails here from the Mets. Um, it it's flying around the Twitterverse. Okay, the Mariners are making a hard push for Brian Reynolds. Okay, but they they said no. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> unless the <laughs> deal comes through, right? Unless it's really good. They got some good pitchers in that farm system they could send over there. And we know how they love to trade away pitchers eventually. So they want to That's have them right. so trade them away eventually. In three years, they could trade these guys away. Yep. Back to Seattle if they want. That's yeah, fine. exactly. Whoa. Okay. That so, could be one of the best outfields in baseball. Yeah. Maybe even like ever. <laughs> <laughs> like as they age, don't you think? Like as, as they, they mature? Could be. Could be. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. But. Got to get, got to extend Teoscar Hernandez though. So that's, mm -hmm. I think that's the next step there. But anyway, no. So the Mets throwing a bunch of money around to everybody this offseason. Brig, have you got a contract offer from the Mets yet? No, I'm offended. I'm going to call. It's probably Steve. in the mail, to be honest with you. Oh, I don't check the mail. <laughs> don't mail me anything. <laughs> Maybe it's out there waiting for you. Really bad with the mail. <laughs> really bad at email. In fact, I'm really bad at any most, most, Nonverbal communication. <laughs> it's that's not true. I'm really good at nonverbal communication. I'm just better when we can talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll text you. That's it. 